Hey, I'm Jacqueline and welcome to In The Know. This is our weekly video show designed to keep you up to date on the most exciting innovations across the QuickBooks ecosystem. Today, we're exploring an exciting update to importing journal entries. We heard that manually typing in offline journal entry records is really painful, especially for pro advisors. In fact, it's so painful that many accountants resort to paying a third party tool to import the data. So we're so excited to share the launch of a new journal entries import feature. Now you can upload journal entry CSV files with up to 1000 lines. And now for the fast facts. Journal entries import is available to users of QuickBooks Online Ledger, Simple Start, Essentials, and Advanced. You can access it by visiting settings, then import data, then journal entries. This feature was launched in April of 2024 in the US and is also available in Canada and the UK. If you find this update interesting or helpful, go ahead and like, subscribe, and hit the bell to get notified. All right, let me introduce you to Emma, who is the talented product manager behind this exciting update. Emma, welcome. Hi, Jacqueline. Thank you so much for having me. Very excited to be here. Today, I'm super excited to share um, journal entries import feature. What we learned is that manually typing in long and complex journal entries can be super painful. So let's walk through a demo. To access this feature, simply click the gear icon on the top right. Click import data. And on the screen, you see journal entries. Before importing, we provided some guidelines uh, for customers to set up their CSV files, including the mandatory fields like account name, debits, credits, and journal numbers. We also provided a sample CSV file for customers to play with. When your file is ready, simply upload it. Um, it could be up to a thousand rows. Click next and you can map the column headings with the QuickBooks fields. Some of the optional fields is also available for uh, CSV upload, including location, class, multi-currency. And click complete import. Your journal entries will be uploaded. You can access these upload records um, through the register and also recent transactions. And that's the journal entries import feature. Thank you so much for having me on and excited to see you soon. Emma, thank you so much for being here. Let's take it now to pro advisors Terrell Turner and Roman Villard for them to weigh in. Roman, Terrell, thank you so much for being here. We're so happy to have you on this episode of In The Know. Uh, we're talking about journal entries import. So Roman, let me start with you. Would love to understand an example of when you or your team has an offline journal entry that you would have had to have imported and done in that icky manual way before this um, feature was launched. Yeah, listen, journal entries are a huge part of all of our lives, right? And so there's many circumstances in which we are taking information out of disparate systems formatting them in uh, uh, Excel or Google Sheets and then pulling it back into QuickBooks and then manually copying and editing a new journal entry or creating a new journal entry. And so an example for us um, revolves around payroll allocations. So they're not native to how payroll is running. We need to create allocations between OPEX and cost of goods sold. And sometimes this could be upward of 10, 20 employees where we're allocating payroll. And so while it's it's generally offline and then we bring it into QuickBooks to create that journal entry, now we have the capability to just format it and upload that journal entry, which when you, when you multiply that times 5, 10, 20, 50, 100 clients, the time saving component on that amongst the entire team is, is massive. And so while journal entries might not be the most exciting thing in the world, from a process standpoint, it's a huge win for us to be able to now be able to import that directly. Oh, that's fantastic. And what about you, Terrell? How does having the journal entries import feature help your team work more efficiently? Yeah, so first I will say when this uh, feature came out, I was just like, oh my gosh, 
Like, cause we had just purchased a third party software to do the same thing <laughs> to where I was just like, you know what? I'm going back to them. I'm getting my money back um, so we can start using this because, you know, for us is a very big deal, especially with law firms, because I mean, they have this, you know, massively important topic called trust accounting and they have tons of money coming in in these large chunks, but they're alloc they need to be allocated to, let's say 20 to 30 different clients at once. Before we were manually going in and you gotta create a manual journal entry on the liability side. And then you gotta do the same thing on the income side if it's going the other way. And so that was taking my team a lot of time. And we had to actually structure our entire accounting process to start doing it more frequently because it was such a tedious process. But with an importer like this, now we can set up the template. They can see the numbers because all the data was coming in a spreadsheet form anyway. And so now we just transfer that data into the, the format that's being imported. And then this process that used to take about, you know, let's say 30 minutes to an hour, depending on how detailed it is, now we can get it done in a matter of minutes and that person can move on to doing something else. So, I mean, from the staff standpoint, they are extremely happy because they don't have that tedious job to do anymore. Their process can move faster. Plus their manager now can doesn't have to stay on top of them about like, hey, are we gonna hit our deadline so we can move more efficiently? And from a firm perspective, we can be a lot more profitable because now the team can be more efficient. So I think all around a great idea and this is a great tool. That's awesome. Okay, so Charlie, you gave the example of law firms and something specific to those workflows you set up. Roman, you gave the example of payroll. Roman, are there any other types of industries or clients you serve where this new feature will really come in handy? Yeah, so I think about subscription-based businesses that, that operate with long-term contracts. Uh, so maybe they have multi-period contracts with various revenue drivers within a contract. You really need to be intentional, particularly in an accrual or gap accounting environment, that you're allocating that revenue appropriately, that you're organized on the back end, and then pushing that back up to QuickBooks in, in a journal entry format to allocate the revenue and to ensure everything is done according to ASC 606 and the contract. So SaaS businesses and any businesses really that operate on a long-term contract basis, we have to be really intentional about how we spend our time to bring that into the system really intelligently. And to Terrell's point, that, that not only creates efficiency just from a time investment perspective, but it can also allow the team to then spend more time on advisory level items with the client, to spend more time strategically understanding how can we take this one process efficiency and then move into other areas where we can really create change for the business moving forward. Um, so I would look at that, that scenario as well as a, a great arena to look at this journal entry import tool. Can I add something to that? Because um, recently I was um, helping doing some consulting with a nonprofit organization where they were getting federal funding and their funding is tied to, you know, expenses and revenue being allocated to programs appropriately. And so when they brought me in, they were struggling to get through an audit and there were some things that were allocated, you know, incorrectly. So when they had to do like their federal program, you know, kind of reporting, what ended up happening is because those allocations weren't done correctly because they were being done manually, is it ended up costing the organization about $30,000 to where a tool like this can actually help us improve that whole allocation process, as Roman was saying, because, I mean, there are some very serious consequences for industries and companies that need allocations it's a very serious matter. And I think before all we had was this manual process or we would go with a third party tool. And I mean, we all know a third party tool is going to have some glitches because it has to integrate. But having a native solution in you know, QuickBooks, I think it's a, a huge game changer and a business saver for a lot of companies. Well, Roman, Gerald, thank you so much for joining me on this episode of In The Know and really exploring the magic of 
journal entries import. So appreciate you both and I'm sure I'll catch you soon. Thank you. And thank you for watching this episode. I'm Jacqueline, host of In The Know and leader of Pro Advisor Training and Certification. Be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss a single episode. We'll catch you next time.